So we have my little tube of butterflies. We've got 30 in here. So it was about three weeks ago that I made that really exciting discovery of all of those caterpillars on the nettles by the hill meadow gate. And I wasn't quite sure what kind of caterpillars were. I knew there were butterflies, I knew there were peacocks, tortoise shells, red admirals, something along those lines, but I didn't know exact. But I thought, I can't just leave them on these nettles because the birds will all come down, they'll be par heavily parasitised by wasps, and most of them will die. So I collected about half of them and we took them home and I had them in a tank. I fed them over probably four or five days um, and in that time they quadrupled in size um, and then they started to cocoon and we got that on film which was really really cool watching them cocoon up. Now probably I would say a third had already been parasitized by the time we got them. So they either turned into kind of zombie caterpillars uh, where they just mindlessly ate and they never got to the cocoon stage and then they burst or they kind of shriveled up halfway and then this weird little black cocoon thing came out um, and that is a wasp. Obviously I actually took those away from the caterpillars so they couldn't affect anything else but we ended up with loads and loads of chrysalises uh, hanging in the tank awaiting. Now fast forward about two weeks to now and things are starting to change once again. How many butterflies? There are so many in here. Um, so a lot of them have been out for a while, so these ones are perfectly ready to go. Uh, another few of them, you can see like this one here, its wings aren't yet fully developed, so that means it's not ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick out, I was also going to show you actually, a couple of them have already flown up here. So we're going to pick out the ones that are ready to be released. And we'll take those up to the farm and we'll give the other ones a little bit of time to pump up their wings. But it's quite crowded in here. Um, so we'll take the ones, as I say, we'll take the ones that are ready up to the farm. Now, sadly for some butterflies, uh, life isn't all good. And they hatch out like this. And those wings are deformed and they won't inflate over time. And again, because it's a peacock, it would have lived until next year. Um, I am going to pop these little ones just into the wildflower meadow. I'll put them on some flowers. They will get eaten or they will die. Um, but at least if they're eaten, they go on to feed something else. And if they die, they return to the earth from where they came. It's So we have my little tube of butterflies and we've got 30 in here um, and we've come up to the wildflower meadow because I thought this would be a really nice place to let them go. Not that there's any shortage of flowers and nectar all over the farm but obviously in this field there is tons and incidentally it smells, I mean I wish you could smell it, it smells glorious at the moment because now the oxide daisies have gone over it's now all of this yellow, and this is ladies' bed straw, named because in the old times they would cut this and stuff their pillows, and it smells of honey. It's just wonderful. So we're going to actually release these next to my little um, tree, my Aowa tree, which is where we, um, we plant all our departed pets. Um, so I thought we would we would go over there and we'll release these. And, and remember, this is only 30, there's, there's tons more to come. But these are the ones that have got their, their, wings, their wings fully pumped. They're ready to go. They've been flying out of the, the case and against the window. I'm excited. Who's going first? 
one's gone. The final one, number 30. You don't want to go? I've come in the shade because it's absolutely baking. Uh, but the really nice thing actually for me and, and for us watching this is because those are peacock butterflies, they're going to live for a lot longer than many butterflies. A lot of butterflies hatch out in the spring. Their chrysalises lay dormant. They hatch out in the spring. They feed, they mate, they die. Uh, all within one season, but peacock butterflies hibernate. So they will now be on the wing feeding um, until the winter. They'll then hibernate and then they will mate next spring, lay their eggs and then they'll die. So they're one of the longer lived butterflies, which is really nice because it means that over the coming months, if I see things flitting around, they may be ones that I rescued and, and I released. Um, and if I find some in the shed, again, they may be ones that we uh, raised and then released. So it's nice. Obviously not all of them are going to survive, but we've just released the 30. We've probably got another 60 to go. So out of that 90, uh, a much larger proportion of them were, are going to survive than if we just left them on the nettle plants in the first place. So I really do think that um, I've done a little bit for the butterfly conservation here and hopefully we can do it for many years to come.